Hello everyone, how are we doing? Sorry, my phone just buzzed. It was so funny, I was going to do just something in my game really quick, and I just like circled, cycled through a bunch of my sources on <laughs> OBS, and I'm like, oh no! Um, let's see. Ah, oh, thanks Brody, I appreciate you. Um, okay, so, um, last time we left off, we were catching Staryu in Lilico City. As you can see, I have our f new friend Canada here in our party, so this is fun. Um, it is for a specific purpose, um, and as you can see, we are here at the top of the map in Fall Arbor Town. And we are actually making our way toward... Oopsie, that's not what I need. Uh, it's okay, I'll just run. Um, we are making our way toward Meteor Falls. <laughs> Hashtag bad star. You're going to be on that forever, I bet. Um, but, uh, yes, we're on our way to Meteor Falls because we are going to start looking for the third member of our squad today. Um, that being Bagon. And you're going to have to bear with me because you find Bagon here in Meteor Falls, which, this music again. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. So good. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me because I don't remember exactly how to get to the spot where Bagon is. Um, let's see. But I do know we have to go through here and use Waterfall. Alright. So, we go up here, and this is going to take us to a different section of Meteor Falls, as you can see. Um, and here, yes, the only spot we can go is this um, ladder right there. Gonna get our rappel back up. Du -du 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 Which, I, I don't know why I thought there was a hidden item there. Um, I am very excited to get into this. Um, ah, yes, the TM for Iron Tail. Very nice. We had that on our boy, Ron. Ah, yes. See, this is a very special room. Um, there is something very special that happens in this room that's actually not bag on. But I think I'm going to save that, um, for another time. We're not really equipped for that right now. So we're gonna go the other way, here in Meteor Falls. Um, let's see here. We gotta go here. Yes, and I knew that there were a couple battles in here, which is why I decided to bring in Canada, just to kind of help us get through them. Um, and it'll be nice, um, to pick up some extra levels. This is actually really cool, um, because you have these couple of trainers in Meteor Falls. You have like these old experts and you also have a dragon tamer, which is very um, thematically linked to Bagon being found here. Um, Alright, so we're gonna fly you. And this is actually funny. Um, Canada is not a great matchup here. Um, so we're gonna do something else. We're gonna fly you. And you can superpower. Um, oh, that's great actually. So we can fly right over that. And we missed the rock tomb. Love to see it. I don't know... Okay, yeah. I didn't think superpower was going to be incredible there. I'm actually going to take Canada out. Because I don't really want... Oh, focus punch. That's horrible. Sorry, Bentacool. You're about to get rocked. <laughs> Alright, Metacham goes down. That's lovely. And there he goes. <laughs> Sorry! But that's all right. We can take this out pretty quick now. But how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, what was today? Ah, yes. Yesterday, um, my wife and I had a really long day. Hey, what's up, JJ? Uh, my wife and I had a really long day. We were at Cedar Point, um, which is an amusement park in Ohio, where we live, and it is known as maybe the best roller coaster park literally in the world. 
Um, it's really, really amazing. There are some really great rides there. My favorites are <laughs> the Millennium Force, which is maybe the best roller coaster in the world, um, the Maverick, which is great, and Gatekeeper. And those are all really, really, really great. I love that place. It's kind of like on an island in Lake Erie. Um, we went there with my family. My mom really wanted us to go all go together. And it was a really fun time. I was, I'm glad we didn't get paralyzed there. Um, but it was really hot. I got really tired. Got some headaches. I'm getting older. So I can't really last as long as I, as I used to. Uh, but it was still really fun. And I had some really good family time. Ooh. Love to use Red Yurok in a few battles here. Um, let's see. We'll just go for Ancient Power. It's always interesting that you have these two random trainers in here. There we go. Um... Just kind of really far away from the rest of the main story. Um, I thought it, I think it would be cooler if there were a few more of these, like dragon tamers in here. You, I mean, I don't know of many others in the in the entire game. Um, but yeah, I think both of these uh, trainers register you, so that's cool. So we're gonna hop over on this side. There we go, and go down here. And once we do that, that lets us go through here. And this, finally, brings us to this secret room where, once we surf to the other side of the water here, we can find the TM for Dragon Claw. And this is actually the only place in the game where you can find Bagon. Only place. So we are going to be looking here for one. I'm excited, baby. Uh, but first, got to run out our Super Repel. There we go. And I'm hoping this will work much like, um, whatchamacallit, Star You, where we can just put it, put it to sleep and just throw an Ultra Ball and it pretty much catches it. Um, so I did a little bit of my homework beforehand. Um, in this room, okay, it's Gold Bat, um, we have a 50% chance of running into a Golbat. We have a 25% chance of running into a Soul Rock. Um, and then we also have a 25% chance of running into a Bagon. So the encounter rate isn't too terribly punishing here. Um, but we are going to be looking for a Bagon with a specific nature. The other thing that we're going to want is we are going to want a... Excuse me. We are going to want a female Bagon. Um, because... Mm, plus defense minus special. Mm, I don't know about that. Oh, zero IV attack. Okay. You just want you want uh, the bad Bagon. The bad, the bad gun, if you will. Um, so, the natures that we are <laughs> actually looking for... Um, will be either Lonely or Brave. I would really like Lonely, um, but I'll settle for Brave. Let's see. Because Lonely is going to raise our attack and lower our defense, which I don't mind as much. There he is. Um, which is fine. We got a boy one. Um, we definitely want to see a female one. But, um, I'll catch this one as a test, actually. Um, we'll see if my Ultra Ball strategy works. No speed. Um, so I am looking for Lonely because if we get minus defense, really the only physical attack that's gonna hurt Salamence is going to be Rock-type moves. Um... And that's not going to be too terrible, honestly. I'm actually going to swap into Canada to do a little damage. Um, because that was not as automatic as I would have liked. That's perfect. That should be better. Um, 
And yeah, there aren't that many good rock type moves in the game. Um, the strongest is um, Rock Slide, and that is not as powerful as like Ice Beam, for example, which is four times a week against the Salamence. All right, but we caught our first bag on, so this is cool. Although it is small, this Pokemon is very powerful because its body is a bundle of muscles. It launches headbutts with its iron-like skull. Uh, I'm gonna forego the nicknames for now. We'll do it kind of like how we did it last time. Um, I am curious to see what this nature is. Oh, wow, it does have an adamant nature. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't hate that. Um, that is very interesting because I am planning on teaching this... I'm planning on teaching this Salamence Flamethrower, and Adamant would lower its special attack, um, which I don't love. Um, the other nature I was kind of thinking about was... Um, Brave. And what Brave does is it will raise our attack like we're wanting... Um, and it will also raise, or it will lower our speed. And the reason I don't care so much about speed. Dragon is special attack, you're absolutely right, Brody. Um, the reason I don't care so much about speed is we are trying to run the move Dragon Dance on our Salamence. And in order for our Salamence to learn Dragon Dance, that takes us to why I'm looking for a female Bagon, which we have right here, which is nice. Um, that's why I'm looking for a female Bagon. And because we will need to breed for it. And that is why we needed to catch a male Swablu, and we needed to teach our Altaria Dragon Dance, and we needed to catch a female Bagon, because that is how our Salamence is gonna learn Dragon Dance through breeding. The power of breeding. Wouldn't you know it. Um, let's see. All right. So we will swap in here and put this bad girl to sleep. Uh, I, kn I knew we were gonna get burned. It's really annoying. I'll heal that off soon enough. Great, we're hitting our sings so far. I love that. Um, perfect. Okay, and another thing that you can do with breeding in this game, as I understand it, is you can get a female Pokemon with your desired nature and if you have that Pokemon hold an Everstone while it's in the daycare and it produces an egg, it has a 50% chance of producing that same nature. I'm almost certain that is correct. <laughs> We're going to find out. Um, so let's see if this Bagon is good. If it is lonely, I am going to cry. Oh, bashful. Um... Let's see what bashful is. Um, oh, I actually don't see it on my chart here. Um, let's see. Oh, there might be some that are neutral. Ah, yes, this is one of those that is neutral. Um, Bashful technically um, increases and decreases special attack. Um, so this one is also semi-usable, which is interesting. Um, da, da, da. Ba, 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 ba. Um, so Brody, I love where your head's at. My um, set that I have for Salamence thus far that I'm thinking is Aerial Ace, Flamethrower, Earthquake and Dragon Dance. Um, and I think that'll be really good. There is a possibility um, we could maybe teach it Rock Slide at some point, but I feel like Flamethrower is going to be a better option for us. Um, we'll do a full heal on Blaine. Hello, Tech! How are you? Good to see you. We're uh, working on catching our bag ons. Um, we have a couple that we don't hate. 
Um, but we are still looking for that optimal uh, little gal. And again, I say gal. Well, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I want gal. Um, because we need that dragon dance. Um, and in order to get dragon dance, we're going to have to breed our Bagon with our, our buddy Blaine. Um, so in order to do that and produce and produce a bag on as the offspring, I should say. Um, oh my gosh, Canada cannot escape from this soul rock. So I think I might do it in reverse order. I'll put, there we go. I'll put Altaria in first. First I'll just heal you real quick. There we go. So I'm pretty sure anything Altaria does is going to kill our bag on. Um, it is quite the process. Um, oh, which facility are we thinking about doing first? Um, that's actually quite interesting. I have not thought about that. Usually the one that I start with is the Battle Pike. Um... I really enjoy the Battle Pike. I also love how, uh, um, I feel like the Frontier Brain, which is the gym leader of that battle facility, I love how the one at the Battle Pike I find to be the easiest. Um, or at least in past attempts in through the Battle Frontier, I have found it to be the easiest. Um, excuse me. Not back. Uh, ba, ba, ba. And I also just really like the Battle Pike. It's delightful. And it's a weird, kind of like random time in a way that I enjoy. There we go. I do like how catching the Star You is a little bit less of a process. However, um, finding them is a little bit more difficult. Here we just gotta run around. But the sing, one sing and one rock throw strategy appears to really be working for us. Um, okay, so that one was transferred to Lynette's PC. I'm probably going to catch, I don't know, um, a couple more. Maybe three or four more. There we go. And again, we're looking for female Bagons, so we can try to inherit this Dragon Dance and keep our nature. We're missing things. Um, ah, interesting. Um, so you never played the Gen 3 Battle Frontier. I, it's interesting because I feel, I feel like I'm kind of setting a precedent here. I have never played the Platinum Battle Frontier, and we're obviously going to play Platinum at some point. But I don't know if I want to do that one. I just specifically love Gen 3's Battle Frontier. I think it's so fun. Um, and I just... It really captured my imagination as a child. Um... And it does actually have two more facilities than the Generation 4 um, Battle Frontier. Ooh, I thought that was a crit. Um, so this one might have that minus defense nature that we were thinking about. Let's see. Lovely. All right. Oops. Not yet. I'll, re I'll nickname you later. Um, okay, so that was two to the PC. I'm going to catch two more female bag on uh, because something else that we can do is we can go ahead and get um, a bag on in the daycare and we can just start producing eggs, baby. Um, because at some point, we're going to need to just keep making eggs for Bagons until we get exactly what we want. Because, like I said, that Everstone strategy that you can use to get it to have the nature that your um, the mother Pokemon has, 
Um, it's not a foolproof strategy, as I understand it. I think it's like I think what I have read, it's only fifty percent. Um, ah, you, you've played some Gen Four Battle Tower, but you're more interested in the resort area. Yeah, I definitely get that. Yeah, you can catch Heatran out there. It's really great. Um, I do love how it is not quite as difficult to find Bagons. Of course, I say that, and I'm going to run into a million gold bats in a row. Great, lovely. Another female. Perfect. And of course, if we just decide to produce a bunch of bag on eggs anyway, um, we might get the desired nature that way. Um, so we might not need to look here in Meteor Falls for a million years for the correct nature. Um, well, how annoying. Dude, um, you. I don't know, when it comes to Sing, I feel like we either hit every one or straight up literally miss six in a row. Like, there's no in-between <laughs> when it comes to Altaria's Sing. It's really weird. Um, there we go. Yeah, I, I mean, right now we're in, like, the hitting zone. Um, but there are other times where we just miss so many. Um, lovely. Perfection. Um, no, I will not. Let's... How many is that now? I think that's three. Um, I feel like we can catch one more and then kind of assess where we're at and start working on day daycare stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I was kind of talking about wh why brave nature would be accept acceptable to me. Um, because of the move Dragon Dance, which we will kind of rely on with our Salamence a little bit, it raises our attack and our speed. So the way I figure it, if we have a uh, minus speed nature we can mitigate that a little bit with the use of Dragon Dance. Um, but I don't know. I might just be spewing bullcrap to the seasoned uh, competitive battler, but that is just what I thought. Yeah, and again, I'm thinking Lonely um, will be the best nature for our Bagon to have this time around. But, uh, but we'll see, man. We'll see. There we go. All right. This will be our last one for now. Excuse me. All right. We're in the sing miss zone now. Okay, good. <laughs> so I guess there is some in between. Um, lovely. I also love that we have our, our new friend Reggie Rock here on this errand. And I love that timer ball. I love that timer ball. Because that's not what it, like, canonically looks like. Like, the picture of it, there's, like, more yellow in it. It's different. Um, but when you just see the pixelated version that we have here, it is... It's Canada, baby. Um, uh... <laughs> oh, Brody. All right, great. Didn't even need to put it to sleep. <laughs> um, all right, so we might need to come back here. I think I have, like, a zillion escape ropes. Um, I have seven. Lovely. All right. And Blaine is our flyer as well, so I... Well, I'm gonna have to put Blaine in the daycare at some point here, uh, very soon. So, I might need to bring your, your pal Cloud back out, Brody. Um... Oh. <laughs> so I should name my bag on Egg, because I have eggs for breakfast? That's funny. Hey, why don't we let Tech name this one? Cause you you named you named our Beldum, right? Yeah, you named our Beldum, Brody. Um, we can let Tech name this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Um, all right, so we have a couple that good by you. Love to hear it. Um, okay, so... All right, I'll just keep you right here. <laughs> I'm organizing my Battle Frontier encounters. Um, oh, yeah, name the bag on tech. Um, so let's see what we got. Again, we're looking for a lonely nature. Gentle nature. That is going to... Ba -ba -da. Increase special defense, lower defense. Not exactly what we want. Naive. That is going to raise. What is that going to raise? I like this chart better. Oh yeah, there it is. That's going to raise speed, lower special defense. That's not quite it. Um, another gentle. It's annoying. And modest. Oh, that's the that's the one we're looking for on Staryu. Um So let's see what we can do here. Um in our party, we have this male one. Um it had the male one has an adamant nature, which I don't hate. Um could be usable if we are in a rough rough spot. Um bashful. Oh yeah, that was our that was our, whatchamacallit, uh, can't think of the word. Neutral nature, there we go. Um, so I think this Bagon will be our mother, um, and Altaria will be our father. And we'll just, we'll just see what we can get here, gang. Um, I'm pretty sure eggs can be produced pretty quickly. I mean, we're gonna test that theory out now. Um, because I feel like Arrow, love it. I'm gonna write that down. Um, okay, great. So, bag on name, Arrow. So, our, uh, Metagross will be named Stevie. Our Staryu will be named either Feebas Jr. or Harry Jr., which I'm very excited about. Um, and then our bag on will be named Arrow. Eight, and then we can raise two. Yes, absolutely. Um, bag on. Hooray. Uh, <laughs> great. That color is called chocolate. So, here we have this fella. We have... Okay, they're doing fine. The two don't seem to like each other much. Well, we'll see about that. Um, because we got a ton of eggs from... Oh, that might have to do with their natures. Um, hmm. Stevie and Arrow and Bad Star. So, Tech, I don't know if you were here last time. Um, whoa, there's a GB, there's a Game Boy Color emulator that supports online link cable. That's insane. Um, I think he kind of takes a step out when they are producing an egg. Um,. Uh, right, let me put. Let me get on the bike. I'm gonna see what happens if we ride around a little bit. Um. Oh yeah. Sorry, Tech. What I was saying. Um, when we were looking for our star, you. I don't know if you were there for this or not. Um, we are looking for a star, you with the modest nature and the natural cure ability. But we found one with an adamant nature and the illuminate ability, which is literally the exact opposite <laughs> of what we want. So, <laughs> Brody wants us to use that one for the memes, but I'm hesitant because I am trying to win um, in the old Battle Frontier. Okay, so I feel like this isn't going to work. We need to get a different mob. Um... Your Blaine has grown by one. Wow. Um, no, but how about... Ugh, this is annoying. Okay, so we gotta take them both back. la di da di da yes I will. Okay. And what is Blaine's nature? Adamant nature. Um, so maybe... Burp, burp, burp. I feel like... 
with that bashful nature, there should be some sort of... Uh, it should be neutral, right? You would think. So what, what would go with an adamant nature? I mean, that would maybe work, but it's... Modest, gentle. Yeah, is the I did notice that, um, but uh, he was saying that they don't seem to like each other much. Does that have something to do with the natures of the Pokemon that are together? Because I know they should be of the same egg group. I'm pretty sure that's how um, that works. Hold on. Please hold. Um, because we have our friend bag on here. And do 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 Ah, interesting. Do 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 do. Um, okay. Okay. I guess I could have put the music back on. Um, let's see. That's just the lowest tier of compatibility. Oh, okay. Um, it says they prefer... If it says they prefer to play with other Pokemon, then they're incompatible. Mm -hmm. It just goes to show how many times have I played this game and I am playing it online. And there's still so much I don't know. I'm looking up stuff all the time. Alright, so let's see. Let's see about these two. How are these two looking? Are doing fine. The two don't seem to like each other much. Oh well! <laughs> uh, so now I'm feeling like we can try to... It's true, you can't force love. I suppose you're right. Um, I am kind of annoyed that none of the Bagons that we caught are seem to be compatible with our Altaria. Um... They don't seem to like each other much equals caught in the same game. That's so interesting. I guess I didn't check to see... Because remember, Brody, when we had the Whalmer and Zigzagoon together? They were like... They made like three eggs in like five seconds. Um, I don't know what that's about. Because for real, they made so many eggs so fast. Um, but we'll see. We we'll see what we can do. Just say Ziggy and Biggie. You are correct. They were Ziggy and Biggie. Maybe that's why. Maybe they just had the best nicknames that you've ever seen, and uh, that's why they were so compatible. Who's to say, man? Who's to say? All right, let's see. So it says if we were breeding two bag on, they would like each other. Unfortunately, uh, I wish that helped us more. Um, because, let's see what we can do here. Because um, we need to get Dragon Dance from Altaria. Um, I think they're... Because, I mean, I've seen some other stuff where... 
like, for example, Gyarados learns Dragon Dance, Kingdra learns Dragon Dance, where people have used those to let their... I'll get rid of Canada for now. Oopsie. Um, sorry, people have used those to let their Bagon inherit Dragon Dance. What am I looking for? Um, I need something right now. Yes, I need Cloud, because we need to fly. We gotta fly, because Blaine was our flyer, and Blaine is trying to conceive currently. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> uh, um, great, so we gotta teach you fly right quick. Oh, we have all these good TMs that I'm just ready to burn on my Battle Frontier team. Haha. <laughs> Should move be deleted for fly? Absolutely. Oh yeah, you know secret power too. Oh, you're a super, supersonic. Cloud is our secret base Pokemon. All right, so now while we're waiting on that, I was thinking we can maybe get some more star you attempts in. Um, yeah. Harry can't learn Dragon Dance, that's unfortunate. Do, 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 do. When does Gyarados learn Dragon Dance? Gyarados learns at level 50. Oh. Uh, Gen 3. Yes, forgive me, folks. I try to... I try to do more of this research while I am off-stream, so as not to bore you. Um, you can catch a level 45 Gyarados in Sutopolis City via Super Rod. So that's a consideration. There's also the possibility that we can just... Um, Oh. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Uh, what was I even saying? I forget. Sorry. Dance for luck. I appreciate you. Uh, but but we're going to go over here to Lily Coast City. We're going to make a few more attempts at Star U. Um, if this does become a bit too cumbersome, we can always just... Um, use the adamant bag on that we found i do like that it has a plus attack nature i don't love the minus special attack um we could also use just our neutral one um but we'll see we'll see i'd like to find the optimal ones if we can and here we fishing we fishing once again No, go big or go home. I understand that, Brody. I understand that. And that's my thought as well. My thought as well. All right. Um, do, 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 do. Get to see a lot more of my concentrated face here today. Um... Oh, see ya, Tech. Thanks for stopping up. Thanks for stopping in, dude. Appreciate you. I got you. Here's a star you. Just in time. Uh, what? Uh, tell me what Pokemon to uh, draw, and I'll draw it. <laughs> Bad star? You got it. You got it. Hold on. I'm going to try to draw this sprite specifically. I know the thing says to draw it from memory, but it's literally sitting right here on my screen. 
So we're just going to do this. Um, bo -do 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 -do. This is actually this is turning out pretty pretty solid so far. I gotta say. <laughs> okay. You're on the edge of your seat. Perfect. Um, so, what do we think? That's not too bad. I messed up kind of on the on the one side there, but I feel like that's that's all right. I like that. <laughs> ten bad stars out of ten ziggies. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> so the reason I actually brought Chimeco out here was because with having eight point five out of ten. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, with having Blaine in the daycare um, trying to conceive, we have to rely on our friend Chimeco to put the star you to sleep. And I don't know if a great ball from full health is going to catch a star you. No, it's not. Um, so I'm just going to wait this turn. And yes, now it'll be asleep. And we can throw our Ultra Balls as normal. There we go. That's pretty much a guaranteed catch, it seems. Just put it to sleep in an Ultra Ball. All right, no nickname there. Um, we'll catch, I don't know. There we go. Um, <laughs> Boozy, good to boo, bad star, good. <laughs> it's true. That's your arc. Um, let's see here. So we got one star you in the bag. Not literally in the bag. <laughs> Lovely. Let's catch another, shall we? Use that yawn. Lovely. Um, I'm actually going to see if a just an Ultra Ball from full health will catch this thing. Did. Great. I might not even have to put it to sleep. Um, no. All right, so let's check... Let's check these star use since they're just sitting here in our bag. Ah, yes, another Stardust. Lovely. Jolly. The jolly nature. What does that do? Um, oh, that looks like... Oh, wait, no. That is plus speed minus special attack. We do not want that. It does have natural cure, though. And then here, what do we have? Illuminate. Not good. Not good. Bashful is a neutral nature. Uh, but Illuminate is not gonna do it, baby. So these are two dud star you. What are you gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna try to catch a handful more, maybe like five. See what we can do. <laughs> they call it craziness. Ooh, dang it. I hate those little one dots. I wasn't paying attention. Could have been a star you. Oh, good. Another right away. So let's just toss that Ultra Ball. I don't know if this is guaranteed like the... No, it is not. I think I just got lucky last time. 
All right. Let's try the great ball. We'll see. Still no. It is annoying that it takes two turns, but it doesn't miss like Sing does. Lovely. No. So I think here I might just, because I think I have four Ultra Balls left. I might just use all of my Ultra Balls here before we go back to the drawing board on Star U, see if we have a usable one. Um, just throw another Great Ball. Ah, dang it. There we go. I guess I could just switch Pokemon rather than waste a Pokeball. I'll do that next time. Ah, there's Ziggy. Um, okay, great. Yeah, so I will use all my Ultra Balls, and then we will check on our Staryu progress. Great. Hopefully... I knew this was going to be a Whalmer. Hi, Whalmer. Sorry. Let's get out of here. Oh, you are the Ziggy color now, Brody. That's perfect. That's totally your color. Gotta be patient to fish, kids. I don't really fish in real life. There. Lovely. Oh, I see. Um, so it looks like the way our Altaria and Bagon are getting along now, they only have about a 20% chance of making an egg every 256 steps. Which isn't great. I don't like that. Um, I might just try more Bagons, honestly. Let Bagons be Bagons. <laughs> How about that? Um, <laughs> you'll change your name to Ziggy Fan if you, I make you a mod? I mean, hey, you don't have to change your name if you don't want to. Um, alright, so we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. We'll focus on getting our, uh, our new star use, and then we'll figure that out. Do, 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 do. Nope, not yet. Not yet the perfect star you. We'll get the nickname. <laughs> you never keep your word. <laughs> Love it. At least you're honest there, unless you're not keeping your word now. I do love that we have another sleeper in our mitts so that we can easily catch these star you. That is fine. Let's see. Two more Ultra Balls. Lovely. Nope. All right, so we will catch one more of these star you.
Brody, the last thing I would ever try to do is read you. You're, you're, a, you're a mystery. A great mystery. Um, Alright, so let's get out of that. Perfect. I like having the music in the background while I fish. There we go. Huh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Those are like a one, a two, and a one, back to back to back. Um, uh, that's true, maybe you read me. Read me like a fiddle. Played me like a book. Alright. So we will catch this star you, then we'll reassess. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, let's swap to Bentacool. We'll tank that easy. And now you sleep in. You going, Betty Bye. Alright. This will be automatic. All right, so first thing that I want to do is I, not secret power, I want to fly. This is so interesting. I I did a short where I talked about the, the difference between flying to the Pokemon League versus the Pokemon Center, and it caused like a, a freaking maelstrom of controversy. People were like, that's so obvious, you idiot. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know, man. Because if you go to, like, Moss Deep, you can go to the two different sections, and it's still just Moss Deep City. I just thought that was an interesting thing to point out. Um, but whatever. Um, yeah, I am on the Feebass Hunt. Pretty much, anyway. So let's heal the squad up here. Um... I might try... I might try a few different things. Ah, oh, you'll punch him, JJ? I appreciate that. That's nice of you, but it's okay. They're just commenting mean stuff on the internet. Nothing too terrible. Okay, so I can only afford seven right now. What can I sell? <laughs> you got me, bro. Appreciate you. Oh, I can sell those Stardusts that I got from my Star U's. Well, how about that? There we go. I will not be selling the leftovers. Uh, I can get these later. I'll just sell this Carbos real quick. There we go. Buy a few more Ultra Balls. Um, spent all my money on freaking <laughs> gambling. <laughs> at, I spent all my money at the game corner, man. I'm down on my luck. Um, let's see. So now... Let's check our new star use to see what the deal is. I know that the ones that we have in our party are not what we're looking for. So we'll sort them as such in the bad star use. I might have to start releasing some of the bad star use. It literally just hurts my heart to release Pokemon. It just, I just don't like it. Um, let's check these two. Whew, okay. Again, we are looking for natural cure, modest nature. Come on. Impish illuminate, not what we're looking for. Really? I might be able to be swayed a little bit on the nature, but illuminate it can't have Illuminate. That does nothing. Um, but how about this one? Okay, so both Illuminators. Not something we want to see. Alright. Um, okay, and then we have a couple over here. <laughs> Pull, we use Best Star. <laughs> oh, Brody. I think Bad Star is just more of a funny meme than an actual usable Pokemon. Because I think you'll be really sad when I use Bad Star and I can't beat the Battle Frontier. <laughs> uh, what you got? 
Okay, you got Natural Cure Impish. What's Impish? Um, that's going to be plus defense minus speed. That's not quite it. Not quite it. Um, so I'm going to move you down here. All right. What we got? Brave Illuminate. That's plus attack. That is not good. <laughs> but the meme. But the meme. Um, so that's not good. And another Illuminate. Also bad. This is plus special defense minus attack. That's actually not horrible. Um, pretty much, I could maybe be talked into any minus attack nature. So, like, Modest is obviously going to be the best one. But if we got, like, Timid or calm, or even bold, I wouldn't hate it. Um, <laughs> uh, you're gonna keep doing it. I, I, I know you will. You are tenacious, my friend. Oh, uh, well, that's not what I want. All right, so let's move you. Not secret power, once again. Alright, so let's check in on our egg situation. I feel like there probably won't be any eggs. Um, but we can... we can try! Oh, there he is! Hooray! Ah, it's you! That is good! I absolutely want it! Okay, great. Um, so if I leave him... He'll be back on the other side of the fence. Yes, he will. Um, so it seems like they don't... <laughs> Are you threatening me, Brody? Um, da -da 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 for a minute. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna... I'll go ahead and just run around and see if they make more eggs. Um... Just because we have to hatch our bag, our new bag on egg anyway. Um, doo -doo 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 and we can see if that works because when we do hatch this bag on egg, it should have dragon dance um, because we were able to inherit that from the father Altaria. Doo -doo -doo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Thanks, Brody. Thanks for following. I appreciate that. Um, da, 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 um, I don't really know. I feel like, yeah, it will take some time. Um, I feel like bag on eggs take a while to hatch. Um, This will make our step counter go a little faster, I believe. Um, uh, but yeah, I was talking about Cedar Point early, earlier. Cedar Point is a really cool place. I know people come really from all around the United States to go to Cedar Point. Um, and it was just funny because I actually grew up really close to it, um, about an hour away. And it, I don't think it was... Ah, hooray, another egg. I don't think it was always like that. Um, I think that it was just like a really cool, kind of like more local place. It was still really good, but it wasn't kind of like the juggernaut that it is now. And I know that we were reading that they recently had a merger with um, Six Flags. So they're not... Uh, Cedar Point isn't owned by its own company anymore. But it's really interesting because kind of when I was growing up, when I was kind of like, you know, from ages like 9 to 13, um, oh, a song recommendation. Brody, I'd be happy to. Um, let's see. Well, the song recommendations I can make are probably going to be on the rock and metal side. Do you enjoy that kind of music? If you don't, I can try something from a different genre. Let's see. 
I do want it. Oh, I have no room for it. Okay. So I got to go deposit somebody. Brody, do you have a genre preference or can I just give you my, my rock and metal take? You're okay with all. Oh, lovely. Um, so what is a song that I've been listening to right now? Um, there is a song by a band called Dying Wish. Um, it's called Path to Your Grave. And I have been really digging that song. It's really like, it's kind of like a, Dying Wish is kind of like a little bit classic metalcore, but they have some like hardcore in them as well. Um, really, really good. Um, so yeah, Path to Your Grave by Dying Wish, I recommend. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's grab this egg. Hooray, I do want it. I do want it. Okay, so even though they don't seem to like each other, they've been they've been uh, procreating. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna move a couple more, just so I have room for the eggs in my party. I'll keep clouds so I can fly around. Da, 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 da. No, I'll just get rid of that. Uh, it is annoying. I keep having to go to the uh, the bag for the mock bike, but I got to keep the super rod registered so we can do those. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Did you not like the song, Brody? Do you not like harsh vocals like that? Oh, I know. Or are you booing Boxing Ziggy? I'm sorry. I did leave Cloud out. Um, all right, we got another egg. Um, no, no, you Box Ziggy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I did leave Cloud out for you. Um, all right, see. Oh, the song wreck was Path to Your Grave by Dying Wish. Um, really good song. Um... Their vocalist, I don't remember her name, um, but she's really good. I love um, a good female vocalist that can do really good screams. There's just something about like the timbre of a a female vocalist when they do like the metal scream that I really really enjoy. Or I guess I should say, you know, like f like like the female register, because you know. A lot, of, a lot of different kinds of people have a lot of different registers, but you know, kind of like that higher register, I should say. So I am interested, I really want to see at least one of these, these eggs hatch. Um, <laughs> you would say way worse things for boxing our boy Ziggy. So sorry. Um, all right, so let's talk to this fella again. So I was worried about nothing. We we got eggs on eggs now, baby. So something we need to do is we need to hatch some of these bad boys. Um, wow. So none of them are close. That's crazy. Okay. Um, I am, I'm gonna try to hatch one egg this stream and then we'll probably call it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> boy, boy, I am sorry, Brody. You are so right. Ziggy is a mother and I should treat her with respect. You are so correct. I'm very sorry. That was my fault. That is my default. Da, 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 da. To my own fault. <laughs> so now we're just uh, we're just hatching an egg. Um, yeah. And to go back to my old uh, my other conversation, Cedar Point was delightful. We had a great time. Had a great time. Um, and it got really built up when I was like in in my teens, because um, that's specifically when the Millennium Force was built. Um, just because literally it was built during the new millennium, the year 2000. And they built the top thrill dragster in 2003. 
Um, but that was closed and then repurposed into a new ride that tried to open this year, but then they closed it again. Um, <laughs> cancel on X, I guess so. Um, but uh, yeah, those I think both of them were the tallest roller coasters in the world um, when they were built. But now I think the tallest roller coaster in the world is in New Jersey. I'm pretty sure. Um, and it looks exactly like the Top Thrill at Cedar Point. Um, it looks extremely similar. It's just like 40 feet higher or something. Um, but yeah, it's a really good time. If you live anywhere near Ohio, I highly recommend it. And like... I know that even, like, roller coaster enthusiasts from other parts of the world come to Cedar Point, um, travel from far away, you know? Um, but, but, uh, da, 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 Oh, I was going to say, let's uh, let's deposit clouds so we can pick up this last egg. We cannot have all eggs in our party <laughs> because eggs cannot battle. There we go. All right. Hooray. Bag on. Hatched from the egg. I would, uh, not yet, actually. All right, so let's see what this bag on has. If all went well, it should know the move Dragon Dance. Um, it has a relaxed nature, and it does have the move Dragon Dance and Dragon Breath. How cool! Um, very nice. Um, so I'm actually not sure what the bag on that we had in the in the daycare. I don't remember what um, nature it had. I'm actually going to maybe test out another egg or two right before we get off stream here. Um, just because I want to make sure they're not all the same nature. I think they do often inherit the nature, um, but I don't think they have to. Um, so I do kind of want to test that. And if that is the case, um, I might try to catch more bag on. Um, or at least use the one with the neutral nature. Because um, relaxed, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, relax is plus defense minus speed. Um, and that's not, that's not good. And I remember, I wasn't quite sure what the nature deal was with Altaria and Bagon liking each other. Um, so I just put in just one of the other Bagons that I had. Did I find my Star Year Arena? Um, I have not found them yet. Um, we do have one that is, I think, usable. Um, but we are trying to find the perfect one. Um... And right now we're hatching bag on, bag on eggs. We went to Meteor Falls and we found some bag on. Um, and I wanna check this one's nature. Okay, it's lax. Okay, so they can have different natures, that's great. Um, it's not amazing that it's lax, <laughs> um, but it is working just as we planned since we have the male Altaria as the father and the female Bagon as the mother, um, the offspring Bagon will inherit the move Dragon Dance from our father Altaria, which is delightful. So we know we have that part covered. Now we're just trying to find the ones with the right nature. Um, and I am gonna go ahead and box those two fellows so I can pick up that new egg that the daycare man has for us. Um, and what do we think about this, guys? Do we like just watching me get eggs? Because I can do some of this off stream. Um, I don't mind. Um, let's see. So we'll, we'll sort our bag on in box three. Uh, 
great. Lovely. Because yeah, again, I can do I can do more of this off st off stream. I don't really mind. Um, because I want to make sure that whatever I do is, um, you know, entertaining for you. Because um, I'm going to enjoy it either way. Um, but with that, uh, I'm probably going to call it here. We'll definitely, we'll definitely do more Staryu and Bagon hunting in the near future. Um, I am happy that we have one member of the team locked in. It is good that we have, let Bagons be Bagons! Irene, I said that earlier. <laughs> oh, that's so great, I appreciate that. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm really glad that we have our Bagons in the daycare. We kind of have like our, our machine churning out offspring here. So that's great. Um, I don't know if we can do that with Staryu, cause Staryu is genderless. Um, I'll have to look into that. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here with me um, on our Battle Frontier journey. It makes me very happy. Um, and with that, <laughs> sorry, I'm a disgrace to the Ziggy Club. But with that, I will see you all next time. Oh, probably no stream on Wednesday this week. It's probably going to be Thursday instead. Um, but great. Lovely. Love you guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Peace.